Jubal's Dirty Little Secret. Hello? Hi. Hey, what's up? You have a dirty little secret? I do. Yay, what is it? Okay, when I was 12, I went with my family to a basketball game and my bra set off the metal detector. <laughs> your, your bra set off the metal detector? Yes. <laughs> Why? Because of the underwire? Because, yeah. Oh, you wow. weren't hiding anything in it? <laughs> no. Oh. What, what is a 12 year old going to sneak into a basketball game? I don't know. Girl, I, I have no idea. You can try to make a list if you'd like. If I was lucky enough to wear a bra, which I guess I could wear a bra, but people would look at me weird if my alarm went off and I was wearing a bra because I would definitely always be hiding something in it. Always. What? <laughs> yeah. I, have, I have to explain it though. Because we walk up to the middle and the lady is like running the station or whatever. She sees me empty out my pocket. And then I go through the metal, metal detector and it starts going off. And then the lady pulls me to the side and she starts warming me down. And for context, my stepmom, she was the one to take me bra shopping. She immediately like storms across like the half of the room. And she's like making a big scene about it. Like, it's her bra, it's her bra. And it's like, oh my God. Oh, oh that's embarrassing. Like, I'm sorry. Please. It's okay. It was pretty funny. It sounds good. Yeah. Well, thank you for telling us your dirty little secret. Thank you for having yeah, me. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. 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 I think the one thing that was missing from that dirty little secret was a uh, secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. That was true. <laughs> dirty little embarrassing moment. Yeah, there you yeah. go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, what's up? You have a dirty little secret? I sure do. Um, I fed a vegan meat. Wait. On accident. Say that one more time. I accidentally, in an emergency situation, fed a vegan a meat product oh, yeah. and then lied about it. A vegan. Oh, no. What was their thoughts on yeah, it? Yeah, it was... Oh, God. So what happened was... Of course. <laughs> so my roommate has this friend who... She's in the field that I work in, and I, I really like wanted to get to know her because I would love to work with her, basically. <sighs> So I thought, okay, I'm going to have this girl over, like we're going to, you know, have drinks and I'll make dinner and I'll like kind of get to know her a little bit better and then like work my way in there to get this job that she's hiring for. Yeah. <laughs> Good networking. So, yeah, like, I, you know, I mean, I've met her before. So, you know, I, I have her over. I I was, I made this like my favorite dinner, which is like this casserole that like my grandma made like uh-huh. my whole childhood. It's so good. And so I'm like making dinner and my roommate before this girl comes over, she's like, Oh, by the way, she's vegan. Uh. And I'm like over halfway done. Like there's no going back now. And so I'm like, Oh God, like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to not say anything. And so my roommate told her that what I made was vegan. And so she was really excited. <laughs> and I'm so messed up. She uh-huh. ate. She ate, she ate, she ate, and she cleaned her plate. She was like, that was incredible. Like, I have to know the recipe. And so <laughs> I told her, I told her that I used impossible meat, but I absolutely did not. I used ground beef. Oh, no. Wow. Um, and yeah. any reports of how that was for her the next day? <laughs> yeah. Oh, true. Oh. So she really liked it, but then the next day she texted and asked Maybe if like any of my ingredients were expired because she had a stomachache. So I think that probably <laughs> might be a sign. Okay, two things. That's very bold of a person to be like, did you feed me like rotten food? Yeah. <laughs> and also, <laughs> you lied. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for telling us your dirty little secret. Thank you. Yeah. What's your dirty little secret?